Suzanne takes you down to her place near the river. You can see the boats go by and you can spend. James Taylor is a multiple Grammy winner and a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Many of his songs, such as Fire and Rain and Carolina, In My Mind, have become standards. His new album is entitled Covers. Mr. Taylor, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Now, you're known as one of America's greatest singer-songwriters. What made you decide to do an album of all covers and record other people's songs? Yeah, it's, it's, it's true that I'm, uh, uh, I'm sort of uh, thought of, evidently, as, uh, as, as being in the vanguard of the singer-songwriter um, sort of uh, genre. Uh, but I've always done covers. I, I covered uh, um, uh, Handyman, How Sweet It Is, uh, uh, Carol King's uh, You Got a Friend. Uh, I've always done covers. And to me, uh, reinterpreting someone else's song and, and sort of resetting it musically uh, is a lot like, in many ways, is a lot like writing a song. Um, so uh, it, it's always been there. It's always been part of what I do. And uh, we, over the years, playing live, we've done covers that were never recorded. And th these are arrangements that, that became refined and evolved and, and distilled down to, to things that I really thought were worthy of putting on a record. So we burned through those songs really fast, and then we started to sort of reach out a little bit and take in uh, other songs. and, and uh, basically uh, came up with, with the album that we've got. Now, Hound Dog, one of the songs on this album, is a song that a lot of people associate with Elvis. It's a song that Big Mama Thornton actually performed before Elvis. Tell me a bit about why you chose to include that song on this album, and tell me a bit about your version and who it draws from. You know, it's a 12-bar blues. It's an easy form to learn and to play. And uh, it was one of those uh, things that came together so uh, completely, uh, just uh, really almost magically in the, in the studio. Um, uh, it, it was only our third or fourth take, and that may have been just the first, the, the first or second entire time through the tune. So it, to me it was miraculous how, how well people were listening, how loose the thing felt, and yet how, uh, how well integrated, and, and uh, the, the, the fact that the horn part sort of crystallized in, in that short a period of time so we went with it completely live that's uh, that's just the way it it, it happened uh, in that instant and uh, um, I just I, I just love it for its performance uh, it's not so much that it's a great song it's just that it really came together well were there any songs you're thinking of including on this album that you ended up not including yeah in fact uh, uh, there were we, we cut 20 things so uh, uh, there were there were seven or eight songs that didn't make it onto the album, and some of those uh, it was very difficult to uh, to to pass on. Um, uh, but a, a couple of them, uh, for instance, we did a version of Wilson Pickett's Midnight Hour and of uh, of Eddie Cochran's I mean uh, Eddie Floyd's uh, Knock on Wood, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I went into the album assuming that those would be on the record, but on listening back to them they 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 were great, but they they weren't really a departure. There was nothing new there. They sounded like a, a, a recapitulation, a, a rehashing of, of the original. And the, the original is so great, you know, why bother? So, um, you know, yeah. Well, when you look at the charts right now, the Billboard 100, what do you think of the current state of American songwriting? Is it a good place and a bad place? What, what's your take on things? You know, f uh, fortunately, every song that's ever been written is still there. You know, they don't... Uh, you know, it's not like uh, like architecture, uh, uh, you know, or city planning. Or uh, there, the, those songs are still there. From my point of view, uh, the type of music I like to hear, I, I don't think that that songwriting is at a particularly strong point. Uh, but uh, uh, people are still writing great songs, and uh, and and will will continue to. Well, thank you again for joining us here at the Wall Street Journal. And this has been James Taylor talking about his new album, Covers, which is available now. Thank you, Chris.